Hello, today we're going to show you a slideshow about our trip to ancient Siam regarding Thai architecture. Like in other countries, Thailand has its own style of traditional architecture. The style of Thai buildings had a lot to do with sea water hot and lake. Today, we're going to point out a few types of Thai architecture. As you could have guessed, ancient Siam has many Thai traditional houses, temples, and palaces. Right now, we are going to show you a few of the important things in Thai architecture. One of the most common things in Thai architecture is the steep gable roofs. Inside, they were to make the hot air go up and the cold air down. Outside, steep gable roofs were to make the rain fall off quickly. Besides gable roofs, Thai houses have different types of roof tiles. Some are wood and others are clay or stone. Depending on how wealthy you are, you will get different roof tiles. Next pictures are about tallies, which are on top of gable roofs. Tallies are traditional in the northern part of Thailand, and they were also to stop bad luck from entering your house. Stoops are things that are used in Thai construction to raise the house above the ground. It prevented water from coming into the house from their accord, and also it kept wild animals out. Large windows were also common in Thai houses, mainly for natural air conditioning. They were purposely placed for creating a breeze. Verandas and terraces were also very common to have in Thai traditional houses. They were used as a living and dining room. They were also for the family to gather and talk. Wooden panels were made out of thick wood, which would last a long time. They were what we would call modern day wall panels. Open ceilings were used in Thai houses because they would help with keeping the house cool. The reason for this was the hot air would go up and the cool air would stay down. Wooden pegs were used in Thai houses as modern day nails and bolts. They were used in almost every Thai house back then. Raised thresholds were made to block rats and bad spirits from coming in their house. Thai people also believe that if you step on the threshold, it will give you bad luck. Decorative wood carvings were used to decorate roofs, pediments, and walls, also to tell stories. Special door lock designs were used to add decoration to your door. Pediments were also common in Thai houses and palaces. They showed you how rich you were, depending on how decorative it looked. Long overhang roofs were to provide shade and to protect the inside from rain. They were very common at the time. Large clay jars were used in Thai houses to wash your feet before you enter the house so the house's floor doesn't get dirty. Those are most of the architectural facts of Thai wooden houses. Next, we will show you architectural facts of Thai temples. Wooden temples were basically made for praying and respecting the Buddha. There are two kinds of temples, which were royal temples and common temples. Royal temples were run by the royal family and common temples were looked after by the normal people. Temples and houses have some things in common like steep gable roof to keep the sun out of and for the rain run off. Like Jerry just said, steep gable roofs keep out the sun because of the overhang, but there are other ways to keep out the sun. Wood was used a lot in Thai houses, like for the roof and the window shutters. The window shutters were not as we would think of them, though. For ventilation in the temples, they had huge windows and an open entrance. Wooden and concrete columns were used to support the roof and add decoration to the temples. There were also lots of murals in temples. Murals were supposed to tell stories about ancient times. They were painted in beautiful colors. Next is an old market which would have many shops and special designs on buildings. There are many old markets in Thailand. The old markets sell traditional toys, food, and clothes. The old markets are a really interesting place to visit. Now we will show you the floating market. The floating market has special designs such as Thai traditional roofs, nagas, even brackets, and kellys. Palaces were one of the most important things in Thai architecture. They were the house of the royal families. There were many palaces scattered across Thailand. Royal palaces and temples were designed with tiered roofs. They were mostly for royalty. Another way to show off was to have glazed tiles on your roof. Mostly royal people have them, but 
Some rich families had them. The common tie house would have chauffeurs, there for superstitious reasons, like to ward off bad spirits. They were supposed to look like a half man and a half bird. Nagas were also a common feature in Thai houses. They were supposed to look like sea serpents, and their purpose was for superstitious reasons, like to keep away bad spirits and give you good luck. Another interesting thing about Thai architecture is that wooden rafters are considered ugly in Thai. Architecture so they use barge boards to cover them up. Most barge boards were carved into a decorative design. Eve brackets were used to support the overhang of the house. They were decorated in an intricate design. Spire roofs were used in Thai architecture for palaces of high importance, such as the San Phahet Parasat Temple. Columns and capitals are used in Thai architecture to support the buildings and add marvelous decoration to the building. Special decorations on the door and windows were used to add decorations to the house. They also added color to the houses. Thanks for watching. We hope you have enjoyed our presentation about Thai architecture. We anticipate you know a little more about Thai architecture now.